In this video, I'll show you some techniques to figure out which process has locked a file. In Windows, sometimes you want to rename, delete, or otherwise manipulate a file, and you get blocked with an error. The process cannot access the file because it's being used by another process. And it doesn't tell you which process it is, which isn't very helpful. Windows includes several built-in tools, and there are some free ones available that allow you to quickly find the offending process and to end it. In this example, what I've done is I've used a snippet of PowerShell to create a condition where a particular file named proxima.txt is locked. So the first tool I'm going to use is Resource Monitor. All you need to do is type resmon, go to the CPU tab, and in the associated handle section, use the search box to enter part of the file or folder name that is locked. Here I enter Proxima and it returns the process and the process ID of the file that has Proxima.txt open. I can right click here and end the process if I want to. Next, I'm going to install SysInternals Process Explorer. This is a much more comprehensive tool that allows you to examine processes running on your system. I can install it using winget with the command winget install microsoft.sysinternals.processexplorer. Once I run Process Explorer, I can use Control F or use Find Handle or DLL, type in the file name that I'm looking for and click Search. That will bring it up and again I can choose Close Handle to release the file. Another option is to use the built into Windows Open Files command from an elevated command prompt. Now importantly, before you use this, you actually have to set it up with Open Files slash local on and restart your computer. So it might actually not work for you when you actually need it. But once it's set up, you can query it for an open file. And another option, if you just want to do this from the command line, let's say you're doing it on a server, you can use the sysinternals handle utility. You can install it using the following winget command, winget install microsoft.sysinternals.handle. Once installed, run handle.exe and specify the file name to figure out which process has a monopoly on the file.